Hey there everybody, Zelda Savior here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we arrived here at the Boggly Woods. We ventured to the Great Tree and found out that it was blocked by a door that we do not know how it got there. So now we must advance forward to find this Madame Flurry character that Punio over here mentioned. So let us begin. Firstly, that right there is an inn card. Um, it essentially just allows you free access to the inn once. However, the inns normally don't cost that much money to begin with, so they're not really worth it. So I will pass it up. It's not worth the inventory space. Coin! Yay! So let us see. Well, there's a very poorly hidden star piece. Ah, there we go! And here we have the introduction of the Dark Puff. I believe they are called. Um, let's get Goombella out here and tattle this fool. Oh, wow, I forgot that they have defense. They're brilliant tactician. It's okay, because I can super guard them. Ha ha ha. Super guard them too! Ha 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 ha! Got nothing on me, Dark Puff. What do we have here? That's a Dark Puff. It's basically a tiny mean thunderhead. Max HP is 3, attack is 2, and defense is 0. Sometimes I'll charge itself with electricity. Don't touch it when it does. Youch! You know what I mean, right? Bzzz, shocking! After it charges itself, it'll totally zap you with lightning. Beat it as fast as you can. Good strategy, Gumbella. We're going to destroy it! Die! I'm surprised I haven't been shouting die as much so far in the course of this project. I tend to shout that a lot when I play games. But it's now the... Oh! More... I was trying to press X with Koops to try to get him on the rebound, but now it's just Goombella's telling you. Goombella! There's a there's like there's a ghost behind me! No! <laughs> no. Do not want. There we go. Koops, go! There we go! Ha ha! Victory defeated. Or victory defeated. Victory achieved! It's more like it. So let's see. We gotta go up here. Ha ha! Oh. For a second, I thought I left Koops behind. So we gotta make our way back here. Hit this here block, and as you can see, the pipe there leading to the paper airplane platform is pretty low. You can't make it uh, across that gap, but we gotta do. Hit the switch. And like magic, it rises. And we get this very poorly hidden star piece. And let us go up the pipe. And before we do paper airplane time, oh, no, we don't miss. We. Get a Shine Sprite! Huzzah! Now let's just venture across this gap. Let's try to make it all the way across. Let's try to make it all the way across to the next... To the... To the... To the next one. Let's do it. Aww. Fell a little sharp. But we have a badge! A Quick Hammer badge! Very nice. Uh, quick Hammer. Um, 2 FP, I believe. Stuns... Hits all enemies on the ground and even those on the ceiling. And we have... Oh! <laughs> yes, my beautiful singing voice would be loved by everyone. Um, sorry about that again. Uh, so let's just keep the order consistent and go with FP. I really want badge points, though. I have so many badges that I want to have on, but no, no, we're not messing with the order. Not yet. You don't mess with the order. Not until later. Alrighty. Um, yes, star piece in that tree right there. Right there. Gotta speak my proper language. Oh, there's Flurry's house. Hey, look, there in the distance. That's what I was telling you about. It's Flurry's place. Thanks for the update there, Punio. Oh, we just leveled up. I wasted seven coins. Fantastic. So, paper Billy back here. And we have two hidden things. Firstly, a vault room is very is a good, item, pretty good item. Um, eat it and you gain electric -y powers. And essentially, if any enemies touch you directly, they suffer direct damage or. Uh, Yes, they suffer damage themselves, so it damages direct attackers. However, we are out of inventory space, unfortunately. Um, oh, that's a tough decision. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna trash the vault room. I don't really need it. Um, there's something we're gonna acquire later on that does literally the exact same effect, but it's a badge. So we'll worry about that later. But secondly, a second star piece. Two, two star pieces in the same area. Jeez, man. We're getting lucky over here. 
Yes, let us wander in the background and knock, knock, knock. Is anybody home? Uh, excuse me. Hmm, maybe she's in here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. Maybe she did. It'd be kind of funny if you actually thought she went on a walk and you left. You don't do that. You come up here and just you be persistent. Madame Flurry, hello! If you're here, say something. Is she in here? Eek! Or not eek. Eek! No, out of the question. You mustn't come in here. Heart. Uh, Madame Flurry, are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment. Those darling squishy little footsteps. Is that you, Punio? Oh, it's been an age since I saw you last. You poor dear. Is there something you need? Oh, uh, well, the thing is, we have a problem that only you can help us with, ma'am. The great tree's entry hole is blocked. I'm not going to say anything. There's a stupid door we can't seem to open. My puny friends are inside, so they're in a pickle, and Mario needs these crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. If you can find the secret entrance for us, we're done. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that? My adorable little punio, you know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamentably, uh, okay, that's a weird word. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I get these voiceovers mixed up so easily, so quickly. Um, oh, yeah, sorry. Um, I'm in a bit of a bind myself. I cannot just come out. Gee, is something wrong? It's something embarrassing, somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out without my favorite necklace. <sighs> really? Oh my goodness. I mean, you'll probably look fine without it. I mean, I'm sure I'm not the only guy who has given a girl a compliment and said, like, oh, you look really nice. And they're just like, no, I look awful. And, ah. Uh, okay. Yes, we have to go find her necklace. Because she, cause she can't go out without it. Okay. She, yes, we know where it is. We can go and get it. And then she'll help us. Okay. Fair enough. Yes, I, I am very super. I can do it. Yeah, I can do it. I, I think I can. All right, let's go. But yes. Sorry about that little comment there. Uh, I, I, I just want you girls to take compliments better. Especially a certain someone. If you are watching this, if you happen to watch this, you know who you are. But yes, we're back to the Shadow Sirens. Um, Silence, you twitch. Now is the time to go and do justice. We must study the sketch. Gah, gah. Wow, this Mario guy looks so manly. Check out that bushy mustache. How handsome. You know something, though, my lovies? I swear I've seen this gentleman before. Ah, he's a Mr. Mustache. Gah, gah. Ah, I don't believe this, Vivian. I told you without a doubt it's all your fault. I'll be dealing with some strict punishment later, my dearie. Oh, yes, I promise you that. What? That's not fair! You're the one who had the... Silence, you squirrel brain! Don't cop that insolent attitude with me! Ugh, this is not fair! And about to that necklace, I was thinking of returning it to you, but no more! Aww... And then, since you caused this problem, you have to figure out how to find this Mario chump! Uh, good? So yes, we now must return to the Shadow Sirens, and... Get the necklace back. Oh, joy. I love running menial errands for people to accomplish larger goals, but it's all part of the adventure. Alrighty, um. Ooh, dark buff. Sorry for that interruption. As I was saying, so yes, we now must make our way back to the Shadow Sirens. Um, and to spare you the trouble of watching me walk, I'm just gonna cut here and open back up when we get to the Shadow Sirens. So yeah, I'll see you guys there. Hey there, guys. Sorry for the interruption, but we are now back in the area where the Shadow Sirens are located. So, um, before we go, I'm just gonna use a quick honey syrup, max out our FP. We won't really need it, but, uh... I have a lot of inventory, or a lot of full inventory, so, oh. Four, I get rudely interrupted. 
Ugh, sorry about that, guys. I hate getting interrupted by those random encounters. Um, you know, we're gonna blame Punio for the rest of the chapter. For random encounters, Punio is now Punio's fault. Punio, it is all your fault. We don't. No one likes you. You have no friends. Well, if it isn't Mario, shiny mustache, no, you can you can't be too bright if you came here looking for us. Wee! And you know why? Because we're waiting for you. Uh huh. Uh huh. I remember. They're the ones with. Hey, wait a second. What do you mean you've been waiting for Mario? That sounds suspicious. Wee! I have no quarrel with you, but I simply can't allow you to hunt for the crystal stars. And so I'll be taking that to a map of yours just as soon as I deal with you. Whoa, whoa, scary lady. How do you know about the map and the crystals? Have you talked to Princess Peach or something? Hey, now that I think about it, who are you anyway? Wee! Gosh, Belden, you laugh like that way too often. I hate doing that. Those who seek names are often disappointed, but if you insist, we'll tell you. We are... The three... Wait, the fat one talks? Shadow Beauties! The three Shadow Beauties? Baby and you nincompoop, what are you babbling about? Shadow Sirens! I don't see three beauties, I see two, and then there's you and your plug ugly! Plug ugly. <laughs> what? Aw, oh, sis, I'm sorry, I just thought you always call us lovelies, and... It's just a figure of speech! Oh, you've got some fierce punishment coming your way! Aw, oh, gee whiz, I hate being punished. Who does like being punished? I don't think anyone on the face of the earth likes being punished. Except for, like, sick... Like, people that have sick pleasures, but... We will not talk about them and their opinions. No judgment is placed on this project. Except against Punio. Who is at fault for everything. Like this engagement. Punio! It's most unlucky that our sight doesn't on you. Well, unlucky for you, of course. Man and Vivian, let's show them precisely what we can do. Gah. Yes, sis. Alrighty, so the Shadow Sirens. Introduction here. Um... So, yes, um, what I'm going to do with this, the fight itself isn't that difficult, honestly, it really isn't that bad, um, we're gonna open up with an Earth Tremor, and we're, we're gonna wipe off the most, oh, 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 yeah, can't speak today, we are going to wipe most, uh, Beldum off the map first, um, she is the weakest in terms of HP, um, I think some of her magic attacks are decent, though. I know she has, like, a freeze and all that stuff. Um, Marilyn, actually, is the biggest threat. She is not only the strongest health-wise, but, um, also she is the strongest attack-wise as well. Her lightning attacks hit, um, most party members for the most damage. So, yeah, as you can see here, we're gonna follow up with a power shell, and boom, in one turn, Belvin is already down, um... Yeah, she's not really that much of a worry. Vivian herself isn't much of a worry either. Um, she, she can't even damage Coops because she only does one damage. Now, Marilyn, yeah, she'll come over and... Um, yeah, she'll deal one damage because Coops has a defense point. Um, yeah, I was going to tattle these guys right now, but I don't really want to just because I... There'll... You'll find out. There'll be, a, uh, there, there'll be better moments for this later on. Um... So yeah, let us just let us let's just finish this fight right in here and now with Coops. See, two turns, no threats. Marilyn the strongest, and 30 star points for your efforts. Excellent, easy fight. Nothing, no, no. Yeah, trying to explain how easy the fight is, but I can't speak. Okay, yes, fight's over. It's pretty easy. Maybe we're just a touch overconfident. Marilyn, Vivian, you lumps, you another one of you put, put your weight. Both of you prepare for a world class punishment session when we get home. Yes, and they flee. Flee, fiends! That's right. We fend them off. Yes, Mario stands looking very menacing. And we pick up a necklace! Huzzah! That's Flurry! That's Flurry's necklace! Yes, let's take it to her! Yes, indeed. But we shall do that in the next episode! Yes, everyone. Um, I'm going to cut that video here. So, yeah. In the next episode of Paper Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, we venture back to Flurry, return her necklace, and get her to help us get inside the Great Tree and begin the meat of Chapter 2. So, yeah, guys. If you're liking what you see here, subscribe, like, leave some comments, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. I want to hear from you guys. So, yep. See you all in the next episode, everyone.